before we get to that, and it does smell amazing in here. It smells so good. Jillian got to go hang out with our friends from Needler's Fresh Market about the best floral arrangements for your upcoming holiday get-together. Take a look. With Thanksgiving coming up this week, it's a perfect time to think about floral arrangements, maybe for gifts, maybe for sprucing up your home. We're here at Needler's in Carmel with your local brochure, Michael Needler, and the floral manager, Melody, here. Thank you guys for being here. Jillian, welcome back to our store. I mean, we are so excited for Thanksgiving. Um, one of the best ways to start celebrating any holiday is with a great bouquet of flowers. And this display is gorgeous. We gotta give props to Melody. I know Melody, we can usually find you in Tipton and you've been doing this for some time. 31 years, a long time, but I love my job. It's a great place to be. Awesome. So did we pay you to say that or is this really no. from the heart? <laughs> this is from my heart. Okay. Awesome. I love my job. I, love I get to meet people every day and do different things for different people. No day is ever the same. We do something different every day. I love that. Great endorsement. I'll tell you what, one of the cool things that I uh, get to do when, um, when I run a company like Needlers, we grew into in Indiana when a former company that had been here a long time uh, went out of business. So we stepped into the shoes of a great legacy and one of the best parts of that was that we had wonderful people like yes. Melody um, and the people in the Tipton team. So uh, in Tipton, while we're, it's not as beautiful as where we have right now in Carmel, we're on our way. Every store has a plan yeah. to get better and what's really cool is your department in Tipton is front and center just like here in Carmel yes. and that is going to stay. So. Um, what do you love about being first in line when the customer comes into your store? I get to greet them and see what their needs are for the day and what, the, what they're doing that day and what they need. What's a floral manager do? I process flowers. I create arrangements. I do all different kinds of things. Um, custom work, that's very good to do. I do funeral work. Awesome. I have holiday work, weddings. You know, people don't think about a grocery store as a great place to get handcrafted uh, bouquets, right. handcrafted yes. uh, displays for your, your weddings, for your parties, funerals, um, even uh, flowers that or what are they call grave blankets. Yes. I mean, those are things that come around the holiday. People like to dress up uh, for their loved ones. So I think it's really kind of a neat thing that we do to connect with our community. I want to chat with you about that custom aspect because I was just telling Michael, when I go into a grocery store, a lot of times I don't think about a custom arrangement. You know, you look at this and you say, oh, this is beautiful, but then you forget sometimes to consult with an expert like Melody and get some tips. So what are some of your tips for us? Oh, um, you can put all different kinds of flowers together. It doesn't have to be the run of the mill, same thing, the mud carnations and everything. You can just mix it up, do different colors and different things. Make it bright and colorful, or if they want dark colors, you can do just about anything they would like. What and about the mix between like plants, flowers? Yes, it has to make it look presentable to the customer and what they like. What they some people have rustic looks, you know, some people like modern. You can do all kinds of things. Anything you would like to do, we can we can create it for you. Awesome. Yeah. Now, if, if they've got vases, a lot of times I wonder at my house, what do I do with this whole, you know, pantry full of used vases? Can we bring them back into the yes, store? Yes, I can reuse those vases for you. Awesome. We sanitize them, we reuse them. If you would like your arrangement made in the next time, just bring your vase to me. I'll be more than happy to help you. Awesome, Ooh, awesome. That's really good. I didn't realize that. So you can bring in your old vase, have you make something, or I love the fact that I'm seeing some pumpkins that you've even used to decorate here. Perfect for Thanksgiving, too, as you still have that all that fall decor. Yes, and we'll be going into poinsettias before long, too. Yeah, even some sparkles I hear oh, sometimes. Yes. I use Ting Ting in them. We use glitter on the poinsettias to make them bright and festive. Who doesn't love a little Ting Ting? That's right. <laughs> That's what I always I say. Mean, God, right? Right? And you can't get enough Ting Ting in this where, world. Where can we get more? <laughs> so I, when I was de de developing the floral department, you walk into this store. Yeah. And you'll have the same sort of thing downtown in Indianapolis and also in Tipton as it comes about so that the customer can pick and choose. And they get their ability to kind of mix and match their assortment. It's not just prearranged. So to sum things up, if I had to pick three right now to put on my Thanksgiving table, what should I pick, Melody? Yellows, purples, and reds. Ooh. That'd be very fall with yep. fall leaves and cattail. Awesome. That'd be awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. And a bottle of wine. And if, why not? Yeah, we're, it pairs perfectly with a bottle of wine. <laughs> Michael, thank you. Melody, thank you for these tips as well. Like we said, we're here at Needler's and Carmel. Plenty of locations to choose from. We appreciate you both very much. Thank you. Awesome.